Babs with Manifest with Babs. And yes, I did change my channel name um, if you haven't noticed yet, but I liked it better and it was shorter, catchier. It was just better. It was just awesomer. Anyway, today I just wanted to make a short video about um, viewers and clients reviews. So if you've taken sessions with me and you've had success, or if you're a viewer and you've had success with the methods I teach or anything I teach, I would love a video, audio or written review by you. And I, if you, if you want to be published on here, I would totally share it on all my social media platforms. I am currently working on expanding all my social media, social media, social media platforms as well. So you could be famous too. Anyway, I received an amazing review about my four steps and core beliefs and I'm sharing it today. And Brenton is amazing. He got pretty much everything he wanted and he feels better, which is what I want to teach. I want to teach you how to get everything and feel better and keep it right. So we're working on keeping it. And no, you don't have to change your core beliefs to get what you want. And no, you don't have to change your core beliefs to keep what you want. The core beliefs just help you feel better, but you can have what you want no matter what. You can keep what you want no matter what. And today's video is from Brenton and it's a, an amazing review and congratulations on everything. And I'm so glad that he shared it with me. And here it is. Hey guys, my name is Brenton and I wanted to hop into our group and share my success story while using the uh, four step process that Babs lays out. Um, so my conscious creation journey started um, November of 2020. Um, I had literally a series of events that happened um, and it felt like in succession. Um, starting in November, it went through December, January, February, March, April, literally months and months um, of things just going, you know, haywire. Um, and I happened to stumble upon a YouTube video from um, Amy at Create Your Future and she was um, talking to Babs. And doing a little bit of research, um, I found Babs's channel. Um, I had gone to several um, manifestation coaches um, in you know a short period of time, and all of them kind of had me doing um, kind of a combination of things. But some things are a little bit different. Um, but irrespect to that, like I wasn't seeing movement at all in anything that I was doing. Um, one of the biggest components that I was doing personally was I was journaling things. And in my journal, I was writing out like things that I wanted to see um, in my 3D, my desires. And um, I wasn't seeing any movement with it. And no matter what I did, it, it just, it frustrated me. Um, I got to the point where um, I started going and like um, seeking the help of like tarot readers, trying to just kind of like grasp and figure out like what the hell, you know, was going on in my life, what was causing this. And um, once again, I came across Bab's channel um, on YouTube. Um, and instantly, like everything started to click for me. Um, I started putting things together. Um, and then, um, I found out about the four step process and I actually started to implement it. So my, one of my success stories was the very first one that I even tried out the box. Um, I started on a Monday. I remember, you know, writing out my list for the week cause I have a journal and I kind of write everything out that I'm going to be, um, plan on doing for the week. And the first thing I did was that Monday morning, I started the process. I wrote everything down. Um, I, I implemented everything that she talked about. And I didn't see movement in months or weeks. I literally saw it in, in a couple of days. Um, one of the things that I had on my list was I wanted contact with my ex-wife. Me and her hadn't had contact in probably eight, nine months um, as far as like us talking. And within a couple of days, I, I literally manifested a uh, text message from her. It was an apology, which I, I, I wrote it down like weeks before, but I never thought in my mind like that was actually going to happen. And it happened just like that. And um, it really started the momentum for me. Um, the biggest thing at that point in my life was my housing. Um, I moved out of my house and I was trying to get into a condo uh, downtown. And as most of you know, last year, the housing market was so crazy that you couldn't find houses or condos or anything to like rent. So I went and um, actually took a tour. I did the application process and the manager of the building laid it out clearly to me. 
we have a four to five month like wait period for this building. Like it was very sought after, newly built, and they really weren't, you know, they didn't have any openings. So I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply for this place, but I'm probably not going to get it. And that's kind of like how I had it in my mind. And, you know, once again, I, I journaled that, I wrote it down, and I talked about like what I wanted to see and, you know, all these things that I wanted. So I went and took a tour on Wednesday. And by Friday, I got an email from the guy. And he said, when are you ready to move in? And I said, I thought you told me like it was going to be months. And he said, no, somebody, you know, decided that they wanted to move out. And, you know, we can slot you in because these, you know, this uh, unit meets all your requirements. You know, you wanted a two bedroom, one bathroom, everything that I wanted, you know, this place actually like supplied it. The craziest part of that is <laughs> when I journaled, I journaled about looking out of a window and seeing a train coming by my apartment. Um, you know, the condo building. And when I actually went to go see the unit that he gave me, like that I was actually going to get, the first thing I noticed is I went into my the master bedroom that I was going to be sleeping in, and you look out the window, and I got pictures of this right now, the train downtown, the train goes right by this building, and it's right outside my window, just like I scripted and, you know, I wrote out in my in my journal. So I guess the whole point of, of her program that like really resonated with me was, you know, deep down my belief was one thing, even though I wanted this. So I really started to clear all those things out. I started to implement those um, practices on a daily basis. Um, I know she talks about like it could take weeks and months and, you know, that kind of thing. If you have the time and, and you really want to put the energy into it, um, it could happen a lot quicker. So I had that happen. I um, manifested a job, a, a six-figure job. Um, I've manifested new relationships. Um, I manifested a new girlfriend. Um, we actually have a child that's due in December. Like all those are manifestations. It 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 was stuff that was on my list that deep down I wanted them, but I never really thought that I could actually have them. And um, it was a godsend for me to actually find Babs' program. I'm actually going to go back through it again. Um, there are a couple of areas in my life that I really want to work on again. Um, but it all came down to, um, you know, my my system, my, my core beliefs, um, what I was, you know, actually wanting to have versus what was going on, like, deep down inside. So once I cleared all that stuff out, um, that's when I really started to see the movement. I even had people, like, showing up. Um, in different ways, like people that that were rude to me, it was like um, night and day. It was like a, a puppet almost because everything that I was affirming, I'm I'm worthy, I'm this, I'm that. People were showing up that way. I've done the free cups of coffee. I've done um, on my stove right here at my my new house that I've just moved into. Um, I talked about uh, somebody giving me lunch, right? So I wrote that on like one of my lists. And as I'm doing the four-step process stuff, you know, it's clearing out um, those old belief systems. Um, I happen to go to a client's house. I'm in real estate. And um, I walk in and me and the guy are talking back and forth. And then he offers me lunch, just like I wrote, you know, in my, in my journal. So for me, a lot of the things that I desired, once I went through that process, it easily started to flow for me. Um, like I said, right now I'm in the process of um, going for even bigger things. Um, I have some like life goals that I'm, I'm really you know striving for. A lot of them are le literally just coming to me super easy. Um, so if I can encourage you to do anything, I would at least um, take a look at the program um, and then literally start doing the four steps. It, like I said, it won't take you a long time for you to start seeing movement in your 3D. Um, for me, it took a matter of days. Some things, it took a couple of weeks, but I think it was already in, in, in motion once I started the process. And um, I really started to see movement. And um, I'm, I'm super excited about the future. Um, I live in the present, of course, but I'm super excited about what else is you know coming as far as what I'm um, manifesting. So if I can encourage you, join the program. Again, thank you so much, Brenton. I love this review. Brenton and I have been chatting back and forth, and 
I just love talking to him. His energy is great, as you can see in the video, and I'm so, so glad that everything is working for him. I love it. I love hearing these successful stories, and I would love to hear more from you. Please, so email them to me at babs at manifestwithbabs.com, which is also my website, manifestwithbabs.com, or you can leave me a comment on YouTube. If it's a short review, you know, any review would be amazing. I just want to feature this. I want to show everyone that this works other than my own success stories that you're probably tired of hearing about. So I want to share the other ones too. This works. The four steps work and changing core beliefs works and you can manifest and feel good. And that's my message for the day. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.